So now we've seen some of the basics of Navisworks, I want to explore a few more, some of the, uh, more of the advanced options. And this is looking at a more of an office type environment. In this case, we're taking the Trapella Road project and we're linking it out to a building management system. In this case, the, the current system that's, mon that's monitoring the HVAC as well as a lot of the other mechanical systems in there. This particular system is, is put online and I'm able to now, back out of the picture here, to able to zoom into specific things such as the floor layout. I can look at specific zones within, within this and this gives me a real-time dashboard of what's currently going on. I'm going to click on the floor layout tab here and we can now take a view, a specific view of where we are in this model and uh, just get a, a real-time event of what's happening. Right now we can get uh, general information about our temperature, humidity, as well as airflow, but we can also look at the individual space temperatures and some of the uh, other facets within this. This becomes a very unique application in that now I can link this into my Navisworks model and then this in effect becomes a dashboard that can be referenced from that file. Going back into Navisworks, I've taken the Trapella Road project and I've stripped out a lot of the, the secondary information and, and focusing just on the mechanical systems as well as the, the general spaces in there. Using uh, the hyperlink functionality, I'm able to now link over to specific elements, whether that's uh, fan power boxes, VAV boxes, individual thermostats, or even the rooftop units. Clicking on the rooftop unit one, I can now get a real-time view of currently what's happening within within that system. And the nice thing about this is that it, this kind of information is also maintained in a database. So from time to time I can go back and reference that and start looking at historical data to start understanding the trends on how the systems are being utilized. Back on our Navisworks model, um, I can do this for any of the other systems, but more importantly, uh, that information that's being fed from that building system can be leveraged into the Navisworks model as well as an object property. Meaning that if I strip out, um, go to the first floor here, and look at a specific component, like let's look at one of these fan power boxes, one of the things you'll see there is I can now have that information fed into the model so that I can see exactly real time what the temperature is, the humidity. Uh, this information is periodically updated either every 30 seconds or a minute or we can set um, a time frame. And the fact that now I have information in here allows me to extract that out in the form of search and selection sets. Using the API, I can take this one step further, and now the information contained in these different elements can be attributed, can be linked into these uh, search sets, and I can now have this information modulate the model so that either certain colors or transparencies will change within that. So for example, if I wanted to create some rules that said, you know, show me all objects where components were higher than a certain threshold, in this case 82 and 84 degrees, or if we were looking at carbon dioxide counts that were over the 500 and 700 ppm count, I could create a simple set of rules that would now highlight those particular elements in the model and then once again I'm able to click on those particular components and I can come over here and get a real-time event of what's currently happening. I could also use that hyperlink functionality to link out and get a little more descriptive dashboard. So this is one of the areas where we're able to use Navisworks to bring this model. We've used it from the pre-construction through construction. Now looking at it from more of a life cycle management, specifically around operations and maintenance, we're able to leverage this model and have it link out to these dynamic systems and then have that information help change the, the appearance within the model. So this now becomes a, an entry point into linking out to these external systems. And the nice thing about this is that this is just one particular system. We could take this same technology and link out to work order systems, to maintenance systems, uh, some of the other mechanical systems in there as well. And it becomes a really a common, a great interface for being able to access all that information. This is just a quick overview, but it provides some additional insight into how Navisworks can be utilized in more of an advanced approach to utilizing it within a building management system environment.